Welcome back. Now, once you have set up your list, you can then create a campaign. And you can do that by going to this blue button or by going to the campaigns link on the left hand side menu. We're going to click create a new campaign. We're going to determine what kind of campaign we want to send. And we're going to determine if it's going to be a standard campaign, which is basically a broadcast newsletter, whether it will be an automated message, part of our automations, whether it will be an autoresponder, whether it will be a split tested email, or a date based email, which functions in some ways just like an autoresponder. So first, we're going to determine that this will be a newsletter, and then we're going to write in a campaign name. Once we do that, we'll then click Next. We'll then determine which list will receive the email, and then we'll click Next. Then we'll need to design the email. We can use an existing template, or we can build the entire email from scratch. We're going to choose Build from Scratch. What we're going to do is then choose the kind of template that we want to use in order to create our campaign. We can create a newsletter, which is going to be basically a text email with other additions, such as images inside of our email's body, or we can just choose a text only email. In this case, we're going to choose a text only email and then click OK. We're then going to give our email a subject. And then we're going to click continue. We'll then write in our email. What we're going to do is we're going to cut and paste the text of an article into this email. We're then going to edit our email. If we want to insert personalized content, we can do that. In this case, we're going to write in the individual's first name. Once we have our content the way we want it, we can then either click next or save and exit. Now in this case, our email is set as a broadcast email. So it's going to go out as soon as we send it. However, if we want to schedule it, we can click this button for a specific time. In order to test the email, we can then send this test to our email so that we can determine if it's going to look the way we want it. And then Active Campaign will give you deliverability check that you'll want to correct before you send out your email. Once you've made your corrections, you'll then get a pass on the spam check and you'll then be ready to begin sending your broadcast email. You'll then click the Send Now button, and then you'll click the Send Campaign Now button. And then your email will be sent. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.